What is up, kids? I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you have a wonderful day. My name is Teacher Calvin, and welcome to another Wonder League service. So, there are plenty more ahead, so grab anything that you'll be needing from your Bibles to your notebooks to jot down notes, and let's do this. Alright, now let's discuss what was talked about last Sunday. So last Sunday, you kids actually shared your takeaways from the Boost Camp. I hope you all enjoyed that Boost Camp because Teacher Calvin surely did. So you kids talked about how God is always there for us no matter where we go, no matter where we are. That God is like a best friend that will never leave us nor forsake us. And most importantly, God has given us his armor in order to fight back against the enemy. Isn't that wonderful, kids? Because I surely think it is. So aside from Teacher Calvin, you kids also actually have some takeaways as well. So let me call on Chelsea in order to share her takeaways as well. So take it away, Chelsea. I've got some data, everyone. My name is Chelsea Marie Bikelin Lim. I am currently in grade 3. Luke 2 verse 40 says, The little child began to grow up. He became stronger and wiser and God's blessings were in him. So, I understand that God is always with us. He protect us and never leave us. And also, He is our friend. And, he's, and He believes us and trusts us. And we should always praise the Lord. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye. Alright, now that that's out of the way, now it's time for our announcements. So for our first announcement, if you kids have been checking our social media pages, look to our Facebook, our YouTube, and our Instagram for that, you will have seen the activity sheets that we have left for you kids. So if any of you have answered that, here are the answers right now. If you all have answered correctly, good job and give yourselves a pat on the back. And for all those that didn't, that's okay. For remember that we will always be posting these activity sheets during the weekdays. So you kids, just check our social media pages to find that. And for a second announcement, we will be having, of course, the Heroes Assembly this 4 p.m. So take note of that. You can set your alarm clocks or mark your calendars or whatever. So you'll be notified of when our Heroes Assembly will be done. Remember, it is 4 o'clock this afternoon. So can't wait to see you there.
Wasn't that such an awesome praise and worship, kids? Let us give our thanks to the worship team for leading us into worship. Now, let us now sit down. Let us grab our notebooks and grab our Bibles if we need to so we can take down notes. And now let's call on Pastor Rayan to share us another awesome word. Hey, Wonder League! Wow, it's raining here and it's cold. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me wear all my armor so that I'm not gonna be chilling while I'm talking to you guys. There you go. See that? And oh, never mind this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so it's cold, right? And it's raining. As we talk about Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, up to some verses uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, it actually uh, talks about uh, the armor of God. We've been talking about that, right? Especially with our Boost Conference, as we have uh, said and we have shared with you that we are strong in the Lord in the power of His might. Truly, that we can get our strength from Him. We can be wise because of Him, we have the mind of Christ. We will know what to do. And even in the challenges that we are facing in life, we know that we, we can be equipped. We can put on and we can wear the spiritual armor that God has already given to us. What are those? Those are helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, uh, shoes of peace, <laughs> sword of the Spirit, shield of faith. And that's pretty much it. It's a lot. So those armor is really meant for us to wear and to bear. So we have to put it on. Just like right now. If my jacket is there and my cap is there, it will do me any it will not do me any good if I will not wear it. Because it's raining. I wanna enjoy this weather and so I have to put it on so that I am protected. So that I will not be be sick, right? Or no virus will, will, will penetrate on me or will come into me. So if, guess what guys? In your age right now, that even if you are so young, you are not even teenagers yet. But I know that there are some challenges that you are facing in life already. Like loneliness, like boredom, like uh, 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 seeking of attention, so many things like that. Even anxiety, worries, or fears, or you know, just thinking about of you are not capable of doing because you know that you are so limited in everything. But I tell you what, God has given you the capacity, the strength, and the weapons that you can wear and you can use so that in life, as you live, in every day of your life, you are ready. So you have to put it on, guys, because we are in a battle. Whether whether we like it or not, just like this weather. Sometimes I don't like rainy season just like this. I don't really like it at all. But it will come whether you like it or not. There are some things in your life that will come to you that you don't have a choice or you cannot really, really stop it or you cannot prohibit not for those things not to come. But I'm telling you that you can be ready, that God can can equip you and God can give you the things that you need spiritually and even naturally and even mentally. So guess what? In the next coming months, we're going to be talking about some of those, not re not just some, but all of those are more that uh, we will definitely go dig deep, deep into it and understand it more fully. Just like for next month, our topic will be Helmet of Salvation. Why are you saved? How you have been saved? Or, or how can you be saved? <laughs> Right? Or how can you share salvation to others as well? So, with that, watch out! You know what it told us in that verse, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, right? That His strength is ours, that uh, we can be strengthened by Him. And look at what verse 11 tells us. Wear the full armor of God. Wear God's armor so that you can fight against the devil's evil tricks of course we need to take a look at this and understand this 
So why do we need spiritual armor? We need all of this spiritual armor because uh, we should be protected. God wants for us to be equipped and to be protected. What are what what are the fight that uh, that we are up against? Okay, we are against the spiritual beings and principalities, against rulers and against authorities, against the power of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of the evil evil one and his uh, his realms and so there there are these attacks of the enemies that sometimes we can not be aware of so that uh, in order for us to be protected by all of these schemes and tricks of the enemy we need to be protected we need to be geared up we need to have something so that we can fight we cannot go into a war if we don't have that weapon here in this world as just what jesus said in john 16 33 that in this world you will have challenges but be of good cheer because god jesus christ have overcome the world we know that the battle is the lord's but sometimes there are some battles also that we need to fight for our own sometimes those are are, are thoughts or words that we hear or even the emotions that we have loneliness and fear we need to fight those battles and should we be afraid of these battles of course not because god has given us already the things that we need to fight against these uh, evil ones how does god will help us uh, in the battle against the evil one he will help us through him equipping us through his word and through the things that he can say to us and through the people that can encourage us pray for us and even preach to us just like me what i'm doing right now as i am i'm encouraging you with the word of god then you are ready on whatever battle that you're going to face in life so why is it important that we need to put on our spiritual armor every day because definitely without it we can be defeated we are we can be weak we can be in lack we can be afraid we can be uh, uh uncourageous or we will not uh, live our lives anymore just like with this uh, uh, pandemic that we are facing with in life or even some lack or some sickness and disease if we don't have the weapon of warfare wherein the word of god can definitely defeat those uh, those attacks of the enemy that will give lies into our heads and will also put put the uh, sickness and disease into our lives you know what or to our bodies you know what with the weapon that we have the sword of the spirit we know that we have been healed we know that we are healthy and strong we know that god has a plan for us and has a purpose for us that's why in any of those attacks in sickness and disease it shall not pers it, it shall not uh, uh, prosper in our lives the devil came to steal kill and to destroy but god came jesus came so that he can give us life and life abundantly to the full till it overflows that is what it says in john chapter 10 verse 10 so this is really important we can use each armor and we can use each of those weapons that we bear and we wear so that we can be strong so that we are ready to whatever challenges that we may face in life all right guys that's why you have to be equipped and put on those armors again what are those helmet of salvation belt of truth breastplate of righteousness shoes of peace sword of the spirit and shield of faith and there's so much more that god can do upon our lives all right thank you bye god bless wow wasn't that such an awesome word kids let us first of course give our thanks to captain prayer and let us give our thanks to pastor Ryan for sharing us that awesome message so you see kids, we really want you guys to remember, remember the armor of God because this is the armor that God has given you all to fight back against the enemy 
because we know how hard life has been for each and every one of us. We have like, um, there are more problems to worry about, there are more challenges that we have to face as we grow. But remember, remember that God is there for you. There are no problems that are too hard just as long as you have God by your side. And that is why we must remember the armor of God. So we know what to do. We know what to wear when we fight back against the enemy. So keep that in mind, kids, okay? Remember the armor of God. And if you have forgotten the armor of God, let Peter Calvin remind you once again. So the armor of God consists of the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, and most importantly, the sword of the spirit. So I hope you kids remember that. And most importantly, I hope you remember that you have a God with you always. All right? If you have any takeaways, please write them in the comments below. As teachers are more than happy to take down your takeaways and to read them as well. So don't be shy, okay? Now that that's out of the way, now it's time for our power verse that will be led to us by Bryce. So take it away, Bryce. Hi guys, my name is Bryce Joseph Weishaw. Today I'm going to share our power verse. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord Mommy? and in the strength Mommy, of His yeah. might. Buy one the league, see you online! Well, that's it for today kids. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun during the service. Goodbye for now and always remember to eat healthy foods. This is important. To sleep. This is also very important. And to also take vitamins so your immune system will be strong. And always remember to also help your parents with the household chores because they will need all the helping hands that they could get. And I know that they'll definitely appreciate you for helping them. Goodbye for now, kids, and I hope you all have a blessed week. Bye!